Donald Trump once kicked out One Direction from his hotel because the 1D boys, they refused to meet his daughter. This according to Liam Payne, he told the UK magazine Rolla Costa, he told, <laughs> <laughs> he told <laughs> Rolla Costa, he told them, quote, you wouldn't believe it. It was about meeting his daughter. He phoned up our manager, we were asleep. He said, well, wake them up. And I was like, no. And then he wouldn't let us use the underground garage. Obviously in New York, can't really go outside. New York is ruthless for us. So he was like, okay, then I don't want you in my hotel. So they had to leave. <laughs> wow, thoughts, five words or less. How fast the night changes. Trump must really hate foreigners. No pain, no gain. That would be a pain. Now, when you guys heard this, did it surprise you? I mean, we have seen that Donald Trump, when uh, somebody does something that he doesn't like, he takes it personal. He doesn't really look at the other side and he acts out. Well, it is it is surprising. Also, I am inclined to believe this story because Liam Payne has no reason to lie about this. So that so a lot of times you, you'll see like it's just a rumor. How can we be sure it's only one side of the story? Why would he make this up? It's kind of a weird thing to lie about and oddly specific. What is surprising is which daughter? They're speculating in the article that it's Tiffany because so of the age, but it could have been Ivanka, it's maybe for Ivanka. her kids. I will, they're toddlers, so I don't know. No, Ivanka but what, loves- But what daughter wants well, to meet One Direction that much? If it's Tiffany, I don't understand it. If it's Ivanka, I do understand really? it. Really? No, Explain it's yourself. so fucking ridiculous. Like why, it doesn't matter which daughter it is. The idea that you would kick this band out of your hotel because they won't meet your daughter, they're ostensibly paying the amount that they are asked to pay to stay there. And so let them freaking stay. This is exactly what people are talking about with Trump and hotels and 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 important influential figures and access. This is exactly the issue that's in the news when they're like, all right, so it seems like we're afraid to have uh, Trump have hotels that you know foreign diplomats stay at. Now it seems like foreign diplomats are going to stay at his hotel so that they can get better access to Donald Trump. So they can get that phone call in the middle of the night, like, "Yo, come up, you want to yeah. meet? You want to go? <laughs> hey, Russian you want to hang out with Tiffany? Yeah, exactly. So, but but this is this is a situation where the same thing bore out. It is Donald Trump expecting certain access yep. to these people in exchange for them staying at his hotel. It's, yeah. It's not ethical, it sucks. It's, it's not ethical and it's scary too because yes, this is about One Direction, but as you stated at the end of the day, if he's not getting the answer he wants or the action that he wants, then he he acts vindictively and that's scary. That's a really scary, dangerous thing. It's, it's a terrible attribute for anybody to have, but when you're the president to be able to flex that power or even the owner of a hotel, when they're paying the money to stay there, that's all should matter. That's all that should matter. Right. And it's very entitled too to be like, well, why wouldn't they want to meet my daughter? You because know, like she's the daughter of a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> You know? uh, yeah, you, you guys, <clears throat> you all make fantastic points. I personally think Ivanka wanted to meet okay. One Direction. I don't I think hope. Tiffany's probably like, man, y'all are whack. But Tiffany had a music career. That's the only reason what why. What music oh. career does she have? Well, she had a single. How did she had a know? song. Sing because, it. How's it go? Come on, YouTube is a wonderful place. You <laughs> all can look it up. Tiffany Trump is to some single, I think, about butterflies or whatever. Have fun, guys. Have fun. Oh, Something like that. Yeah, they're, 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 they tried to have like a. They tried to give her a low key like music career. They bought every. You know, they had time in a record studio and cut a little single, and it, it's terrible. It's really garbage, but it's fun for you now to go watch it after this video. Yeah, and uh, Jason's doing that. I, I, I have so to maybe check the receipts tips on from this. One Direction, and maybe you know she and she was like, my music career is not going the way that it should. Like a bird. Uh, I don't think it's like a bird because isn't, isn't that, that Nelly, Nelly Furtado? No, I feel Tiffany like Trump, like person. a bird, featuring. So yeah, oh, she took a, she took Nelly <laughs> Furtado's song. No, I'm like a bird is Nelly Furtado. I'm oh, so she got rid of the I'm. Put it to your mic. Get ready. She wanted One actually, Direction collab. This is this is very um, Vanessa Carlton. Make my way downtown, thousand miles, two. No, because. Oh my God, auto tune's no. really heavy on this, you guys. So good. It hurt her feelings. She felt like it was here over your snap. Wait, is that Selena Gomez in the background? Just kidding, Chase. <laughs> All right, so go listen to the song and keep the conversation going. Let us know what you think. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.